our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English. I don't think I'm getting better. Believe me, you really look much better than before. I'm still not sure whether I can recover from it. Excuse me, may I take a picture of you and your little boy? What's it for? It's for a book. Oh, that's a nice idea. Well, it's fine if you take our picture. Thank you. I appreciate your help. Hello. Is this People's Theater? Yes, it is. May I help you? Yes. Are advance tickets for Nut Croakers still available? What date, sir? October 16th. Let me see. Yes, we still have some tickets left. Which performance? 7.30 p.m. performance, please. Okay. We have tickets at 100 yuan and 50 yuan. I'd like to reserve two seats at 100 yuan, please. All right. May I have you name, please? Du Kun. When would you like to collect the tickets? Tomorrow. We can hold them until one day before the show. How do we cancel, just in case? Just telephone us, and let us know in advance. We don't charge for cancellation. All right. Thank you very much. Goodbye. You are welcome. Goodbye. Do you like ice skating? I have never tried it. Then you've got to try it. Let's go to the skating rink on Thursday. Sorry, I don't think I can. Friday then. How about it? Friday is great. It's settled then. Do you want to go out for dinner tonight? Sure. Have you got anywhere in mind? I'm starving, so maybe we could go somewhere with large portions. That Italian restaurant in the city center always has large portions. Do you want to go there? I'm not really in the mood for Italian, actually. I was thinking of something a bit spicy. If you want spicy food, then I'd recommend going to a Thai, Indian or Chinese restaurant. How about that Chinese buffet on Cowley Road? I really like that restaurant. You get a lot for your money there. But, they've westernized their food, so it's not actually that spicy. You're right. Most of their dishes have sweet sauces. We could try that Indian restaurant just down the road from us. The Taj? They're a bit expensive but they do serve large portions of very hot food. The Taj it is then. Shall we bring our own bottle of wine to save some money? They'll still charge us a corkage fee. That's right. It'll probably work out to be about the same then anyway. Don't worry about money. I'll treat you tonight. Are you sure? We could go Dutch. No, I'll pay. It's my turn anyway. You paid last time. I won't argue with that. Let's go. The summers are so great here. Not hot at all. I love the cooling breezes, the clear air, all the greenery. This really has been a wonderful holiday for us. Shall we take a walk around the pond or into those woods for a while? Let's do both. Are we in a rush or anything? No, not really. 
I had thought we'd stay in Hamburg tonight, but we can't unless we rush it. Let's stay in Bremen instead. Tomorrow we can have lunch in Hamburg. Then check into a hostel in Copenhagen and have dinner there. Sounds fine to me. Whatever. Let's enjoy this pond first. Sure. We can walk around to that path that leads into the woods there. Hey, look. There are some wild ducks over there in the reeds. I see them. Wow. How do you know they're wild? I used to go hunting with my uncle. That's how. They're neat. Now let's take that path into the woods and see what we can see. Hey, Frank. I heard you got a new job. Yeah, Judy. I will be working for the post office. It's not a bad job. Is it true that you have a heavy work schedule? That's right. I report to work at 5 a.m. every day, and I only get 45 minutes for lunch. So, why did you apply for such a demanding job? Well, the government offers its employees excellent health insurance benefits. Oh, I see. And can your family utilize 5 the health insurance too? Yeah. That's the best part. All of my children can get free medical care. That's a great employment benefit. Now you know why I wanted to work for the post office. How about another beer? No, thanks. I've had more than enough. In fact, I must be running along. Stay around for a while. The party is warming up. I'm afraid I have to leave. I have to be up early tomorrow. So how long have you known Mary? Only four days. Only four days. That's so short, and you seem so crazy about her. I know. I can't help thinking about her. She's always on my mind. Say, Anna, what are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? Oh, sorry, I can't. I'm going to work late tonight. I have to finish this report. Well, how about tomorrow night? Are you doing anything then? No, I'm not. What are you planning to do? I'm going to see a musical. Would you like to come? Sure, I'd love to. But let me pay for the tickets this time. It's my turn. All right, thanks. Hi, Kara. It's Mike here. Hi, Mike. How are you doing? I'm doing well, and you? Everything is going great. Kara, would you be interested in going to dinner again this Friday? Mike, I had a good time too, but I am getting ready to move back to the East Coast, so I think I shouldn't get too involved right now. Well, we could just go out as friends. Right now, I think I need to really focus on matters at home. But thanks for a nice evening. Where can I get the information, Kate? Ask John. He is sure to know about it. Why? He has a finger in the pie. You're late. I know I'm late. I'm sorry. I tried to call you to tell you, but your phone seems to be disconnected. My phone? Yes. An automatic message says your phone is not in service. Really? I had no idea. Let me check. Yes, it's dead. There's no dial tone. So I couldn't get through. I knew I'd be late because my car wouldn't start. 
It was too cold I had to warm it up in the garage with a heater. That's why I'm late. But this is terrible. I'm expecting important calls. About what? You know what? The Theatre Guild is supposed to call me and discuss a contract for my play. They are supposed to call me this evening. If I don't have a phone. Oh, what can I do? Well, the only thing you can do is tell the phone company and hope they fix it fast. Do you have a cell phone? No, I hate cell phones. But you could go to a neighbor's house and use their phone. Can you drive me? I will go to Anne's house. It isn't far. I can call the theater guild from there and give them her number. She will let us wait in her living room. Yes, of course I can drive you. So you don't want to get your phone fixed right away? Yes, I do. At Anne's house I will call the phone company and have them check my line. If they can fix it right away without coming to my house, then we'll just return here. But if not, I need to wait at Anne's house to talk with the theater guild. It's very important to me. All right, let's go. Yes, let's go. What do you think of the acting of the two main actors in the film? I consider the hero's acting is inferior to that of the heroine's. Don't you agree? Well, I'm afraid not. I think the hero has much more to be believed in. What's the life expectancy in your country? I'm not sure but probably about 75 years. How about in your country? About 70, I think. This newspaper article talks about the problems of an aging population. It's a problem that will soon affect most of the world. I heard that the government might need to increase the retirement age, because otherwise there will not be enough workers to support the young and the elderly. Perhaps we need to have more babies. Tina gave birth to a baby boy yesterday. Did she? That's great. However, if we have too many children, that will have a bad effect on the environment. How's your son these days? Oh, he's fine. Kids seem to grow up very quickly nowadays. He'll be a teenager before you know it. Teenagers are often rebellious. When do you think it is a good age to have a child? I had mine when I was 24. That's a little young. I'd suggest you wait until you are in your late 20s, or even in your early 30s if you have a good career. Yes, I think you're right. I'm thinking about having a child, but not just yet. Is there a big generation gap between parents and their children in your country? Yes, there is. Teenagers do not want to live traditional lives. They want to go out, have fun, and explore the world. They want to develop their own view of life. Parents usually try to discour. Parents usually give their children more freedom in my country. Sometimes they give them too much freedom. It's almost impossible to get the right balance. If you are too strict, kids might ignore you. If you are too lenient, they might go wild. You wouldn't believe what I got in the mail today. What's that? It's a letter from Ray and Sue in Shanghai. Have you read it yet? No. I thought I'd wait until you got home. Go on. Read it out loud. Okay. It says, Dear Jessica, it was so good to receive you letter. I sounds like you and Riley are settling into your new home with ease. When did you send her a letter? Just a few weeks ago. Sue and I send letters to each other often. I didn't know anyone did that anymore. Okay, go on. 
Okay, I'm going to have to skip over this section. It's girl talk. That's fine with me. Oh, it's actually all rather personal. Well, skip over all of that and read me the rest. Okay. It just says, ball, blah, blah. Ray and I look forward to seeing you in June. Right soon. With love, Sue. Are we going to see them in June or are they coming to see us? Didn't I tell you? We're going to Shanghai to stay with them in June. Oh, I guess I missed that. Men. Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.